Mike Grossner, Baker University. I want a couple people out here from Baker want to uh, recognize Dan Harris, our athletic director. Dan's done a great job. Uh, you know, I don't know if you've got a great support from your athletic directors. And Teresa Yetmar is the assistant athletic director. You get a lot done. And, and lately, we've been getting a lot done. We've got a new locker room. Got some turf put out there a couple years ago. Got some weight equipment this uh, past summer. So we feel good that uh, it's going in the right direction. And that's a big tribute to them. Uh, Kevin Conde, our new uh, SID, has been a big help. He helps in the football office as well as getting all the info out for all the sports. Tom Hedrick, voice of the, voice of the Wildcats. Long time uh, Baker guy, went to Baker and uh, has never left. Uh, took a, sh a short stint with the Royals and uh, Chiefs and uh, you name it, he's been there, but he's back at Baker and we appreciate Tom. Uh, gonna get going on our football team. We feel pretty good about our football team. Uh, you know, there's one guy that's real recognized lately on our team. I'm happy to have him, it's Derek Dorfler. He was a conference player of the year last year as a kicker. We feel real lucky to have him back as a senior. There were some people pulling at him to leave early and maybe take a shot at the NFL, and he stayed loyal to our program. Um, in fact, today the 49ers are in, uh, taking, taking a look at him at, in our offices as we speak. But, uh, you know, Derek's a unique kid. He hadn't let it go to his head. He didn't kick in high school. He's kicked two years total right now. He had one game his uh, junior, uh, sophomore season. Last game of the year, he, he uh, became our starting kicker. And then his junior year uh, was his actual first whole year of kicking a football. He did not kick in high school. So he's still learning that part of the game. And he's done a great job of going to camps, learning some, from some great ones. You know, we just tell him to go out there and hit it. We don't give him a lot of coaching. I'm not going to mess him up. Uh, I'm going to let him to continue to get the right coaching elsewhere. And then I expect him to make those kicks, which he's done a great job. Uh, last year, he, he hit eight field goals over 50 yards. He hit a 62-yarder into the win. Uh, there, there, there's not a lot. I will not put I will put him in a lot of positions to make us successful. They're, they're, I'm not real hesitant to not call his number. And uh, the funny thing is, I, I went back and studied our offensive red zone uh, production because I felt like it was lacking when you're kicking 23 field goals and attempting 32. But uh, we weren't too bad in the red zone. It was outside the red zone. And I'm now calling that the Dorfler zone for a year. We've got to get better in the Dorfler zone. Okay, that's when we cross the 50 and before we get to the 30 is, is where we need to, to move the football, not get stalemated out there because that's where most of his kicks came from, was outside the red zone. So, you know, that's a good weapon to have. I joke today with the coaches, you know, there's a new rule where if you kick the ball out of bounds on a kickoff, you can take it 30 yards from that kick. Well, if they've got a personal foul and all of a sudden they're kicking from the 15, I'm gonna take it from the 45 and do a free kick. You know, we haven't seen free, those free kicks that you can just line up and kick it without a rush. And we might use that with Derek, but uh, we're excited to have him. Otherwise, we lose Ryan Smith. Uh, Danny Omas is a young man from this area that's going to step in and, into that role and do a nice job for us. Caleb Johnson's going to be our long snapper. He's out of Blue Springs South. Uh, we'll do a fine job for us, hopefully, for four years. Offensively, we've got eight returning starters we feel pretty good about. Up front, we're going to be an improved offensive line. We're going to shuffle some guys around. Uh, right tackle Andy Bibb, who started for three years straight, going to be a senior for us, is going to bump down to the right guard position. So we're going to put Clint Bench, who started at a guard for us, out to the right tackle position. Uh, we've got a young guy starting left tackle, Phil Collins, from this area, that we feel real good about that he'll step in and do a nice job at the left tackle position. Center, we've got two guys battling for it. We, we think we'll come out with one good one. Um, at quarterback, we feel real good. It feels like Matt Brown's been in this league forever, but he's going to only be a junior to be in his third year of starter. Kendall Bradley's been here forever. He was a starter for me as a sophomore uh, three years ago, redshirt at one year. He'll be a returning uh, redshirt senior. That'll be a nice quality backup, and he's going to play quite a bit for us at times at quarterback. In the backfield, we've got our two out of three back. We've got Richie Bryant. 
who was a uh, rush for about 700 yards last year for us. He'll be a senior. We got Blank Throw out of Liberty High School that rushed for about 300 yards. Uh, he'll be a sophomore for us. And then we've got the addition of John Babb from uh, Topeka High was a big signing for us. We felt like uh, we stole one there. Great student, 4.0 kid. And uh, he's going to be exciting right away. He's a 10, 10 7, 500 electronic. And that should give us that home run threat at the tailback position. Um, at tight end, we're going to have about three or four kids that are going to rotate in there and, and do a nice job for us. At the wide out position, we've got basically everybody but everybody back except Marcus Nolan. And then we have the addition of Tyrell Spain, who had the red shirt last year. He's going to be a big addition for us as a senior, a one-year only guy. Um, on defense, we feel real good. We've got eight returners back. Uh, those three guys we lose, we've got, we got to fill those holes. Two of them are our linebackers. Micah Mason is now going to be a graduate assistant for us, and Brad Page was a great senior linebacker for us. So if we can fill the holes of those linebacker positions, which we feel like coming out of spring ball, Matt Brock did a great job at one linebacker position. Uh, he'll be a sophomore for us. Spencer Curran, the leading tackler in the conference, is back at the middle linebacker position. And then we're going to need to find that will linebacker and it's going to be a young guy, most likely. It might even be a true freshman. But we feel like we've recruited quality kids there. We just got to coach them up and get them ready to go. Uh, in the secondary, we feel like we've got a, a real good roof on the house. Uh, we've got Eric Allen back at corner. Should, should if he plays to his potential, should be a possible All-American. Uh, he's been a three-year starter going into his senior year. He's got 11 career picks and, and just plays the position well. Colton Miller is another special guy, going to be only a true sophomore, big kid, 6'3", 205, unlimited potential, will hit you in, when you're in the area. We feel real good that he holds down the fort back there. Then we've got Herb Askew, a senior free safety, junior college transfer from Glendale Community College a year ago, does a nice job for us. Then we've got Rodney Harris, who will probably start at the other corner position. Uh, he's been biding his time behind P.J. Carter, and he's ready to play for us. Uh, up front, we feel solid. We've got five or six guys up front that have played a lot of football. Uh, Winemaster brothers are both back from the Lawrence area. Uh, Kyle Winemaster, the younger one, can play both inside and outside. Levi Calhoun's put on 20 pounds. He'll be about a 270-pound nose guard for us. He's started ever since he's been a Baker. He'll be a three-year starter for us. Uh, we, we are going to add Andrew Patch. Andrew Patch was a two-year two all-hack performer. Then he transferred to Nebraska, and he is back with us. So we feel real solid that he'll hold down the fort at the DN position. In his absence last year, Brad Timmett stepped up as a true uh, redshirt freshman and, and played real well, played, played well enough to get some honorable mention all-conference. So it's a nice luxury to have. We're going we're to use both of them, and Brad can move down and play some inside tackle. So we felt pretty good. Last year we kind of uh, broke through the door, had a winning season, had our first winning season since the year 2000. We feel like with only 16, 17 seniors back, that we're still young, but we feel like we've got a lot of game experience and, and that we can compete week in and week out. And just, we got to find a way to you know, win against the guys that you're not supposed to beat. Okay? And, and that's one of our goals is those Big games, you, you got to step up and find a way to win. Uh, but that's it. Anybody got any questions? I wish these guys the best of luck. Uh, great group of guys. Week in, week out, it's a battle, and we have a lot of fun in this league. Thank you.